Here we go. Hey my friends, today I am going to show you how to make carnivore diet jello. All you'll need is beef gelatin, filtered water, and electrolytes. As for the electrolytes, I use Redmond's unflavored electrolytes and that makes it so it's a strict carnivore recipe. When I make the jello for my husband, I use Redmond's flavored electrolytes. They have like mango, mixed berry, um, strawberry lemonade, they have lemon lime, they have quite a few flavors. Um, and I'll put a link to these down below. Just as a heads up, if you make them unflavored like I do, they really don't have much of a taste to them. So it has the, the classic texture of jello, just like the jello jigglers, but it's clear and if you use unflavored, it's really just going to taste almost like jello water. I like it just as a change of texture and just like a easy way to get in electrolytes as well as the nutrients from the beef gelatin. I use Perfect Supplements. It's a bovine gelatin, grass finished, pasteurized beef gelatin powder. Um, the only ingredient in here is just beef gelatin, which I really like. And so in my opinion, it's the best gelatin. I'll put a link and a coupon code down below to both the gelatin and the electrolytes. Other than that, you'll just need filtered water and an 8x8 glass container to put your jello in in the fridge. Let's get started. First, you're going to add about two to three scoops of the beef gelatin into a glass container. And I think each one of these scoops is probably equal to about a tablespoon. The more gelatin you put in, the firmer your jello will be, so it's really just up to personal preference. Then you're going to put in about a cup of cold water to bloom the gelatin. It'll look like this. Leave it for two to three minutes. You can go ahead and put your electrolyte powder on top. I do two scoops, but you can experiment with more or less electrolyte powder. Just figure out what you like best. When the gelatin blooms with cold water, it'll get firm just like this. Next, pour about three cups of hot filtered water into the mixture. Then stir the hot mixture with a whisk for about two minutes. I usually set a timer. It's important that you stir the mixture for that long to make sure that the gelatin powder and electrolytes all dissolve well in the hot water, making sure that they integrate well so you don't have any sort of clumps or anything like that. And then just pour your hot mixture into an 8x8 pan and set it in the fridge for about three to four hours or longer. One more thing to add is that if you make the flavored version, with the flavored Redmond's electrolytes. They still don't have any artificial sweeteners. I have tried some of my husband's flavored electrolyte gummies and they are like absolutely delicious. If you want something that's more flavored, more like a treat, then definitely use the Redmond's flavored electrolytes instead of unflavored. Okay, we're giving it a try. Here we go. So depending on how firm you like your jello, just add more or less gelatin. And that's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoy your jello. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will look forward to seeing you guys again very soon.